Hello everyone! How are you all doing today? It's quite a lovely weather that we're having today, isn't it? You know, sun is shining, birds are chirping, clouds are floating in the sky, cloudy with a chance of meatballs. You know what's been getting me real hyped as of recently? Five Nights at Freddy's 4. You know, I've been wondering recently, considering that I care about a lot of you guys, are we all ready for Freddy? Because you know I am. Hello everybody, this is my Chronicle here, and today I am back with another episode for you all. The other day, you guys were expecting to see that secret episode. Well, this is what you've all guys been waiting for. This is it. And as you guys already knew from the beginning of the video, this regards Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Now, I know that this isn't, like, big for you all, as you may have heard that the release date has been moved to an earlier date, according to Scott Cawthon. Now, I do apologize because this video was supposed to be up a little while ago, but um, but all that matters now is that this video is up and we're gonna get right into it. So, why don't we all grab a piece of Freddy Fazbear's signature pizza, because we're about to dig in. So again, according to Scott Cawthon, he moved the release date to August 8th, 2015. Now, this doesn't mean that anything's gonna be released on Halloween. According to what he said, as far as we know, there's going to be some extra content that is going to be downloaded along with an extra update that Scott will be putting on that day. So here I am on a page on the internet and I will discuss it with you all based on what has been going on as of recently. So, Five Nights at Freddy's 4 was originally scheduled to be released this Halloween, but according to a report from Cinema Blend, the game is now getting an August 8, 2015 release date. This report cites that game creator Scott Cawthon made, this, made the announcement via emails to numerous Five Nights at Freddy's streamers on YouTube. And this is what he said. I'm going to release Five Nights at Freddy's 4 on, on August 8th for the one year anniversary of Five Nights at Freddy's. Cawthon wrote to streamers such as 8 Gaming and Docos Games. This doesn't mean the original release date won't mean anything. This is, after all, a horror game and Cawthon intends on giving fans something to look forward to. And then, this is another thing that he says. To keep this Halloween date special, however, I'll be working on a free update with extra content to release October 31st. I also plan on having a trailer ready for next weekend, he says. The thing that's strange is that, you know, this was, a, he, he talked about this, like, last week. But at the same time, though, the funny thing is, though, he actually put up the, uh, the trailer the same day, so that actually caught me off guard. And I, 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 did, I did see the trailer. It looks so much different because now in Five Nights at Freddy's 4, the game does not take place in a pizzeria like the other three installations did. Well, I mean, Five Nights at Freddy's 3 did take place in a horror attraction, so I guess you can't really say that it was in a pizzeria, you know? I guess it used to be, but not anymore. Anyways, moving on. Cinema Blend says it only makes sense that Kothono would send this email announcement out to people who stream his video games on YouTube. The report cites that last May, Five Nights at Freddy's video games generated more than 1.2, sorry, garnered more than 1.2 billion views, more than any other game series apart from Grand Theft Auto and Minecraft. In a big way, YouTube videos have served as free marketing for Five Nights at Freddy's franchise. Five Nights at Freddy's 4 is speculated to either focus on the Bite of 87, which would make it a prequel, or it could be a sequel that takes place after the third entry in the franchise, Five Nights at Freddy's 3. The game is also being marketed as the final chapter, but this doesn't necessarily mean it will be the last game. According to the report, this might be a play on many slashers films, which also use the final chapter subtitles for their films, only to end up making more sequels as is the case with the Friday the 13th franchise. So will this be the final chapter? Don't know, only God will know, only Kahan will tell us as he will shed more light onto this. Um, but until then, I'm hoping that he does release another teaser image. The latest teaser image is a picture of Plush Trap, or should we say a mini version of Spring Trap, above a window that also says Terrible things come in small packages. Now we did see Plush Trap in the trailer as we saw the other old animatronics. Like the only one that we didn't see in the trailer though was Freddy himself. We only got to see the mini Freddies, that was all. 
But yeah, I found it to be pretty creepy as well, you know? And, and considering that it takes place in a house makes it a whole lot different, okay? Now, I don't know if, uh, I'm not exactly sure who we're playing as. The one thing I'm speculating is that uh, you're either playing as a child or you could be playing as someone who's investigating the place. Well, it's kind of like in Ghost Hunters, you know, people have been have been seeing things as of, late, as of lately, like hallucinations and whatnot. And, you know, maybe uh, they got someone to come in uh, to, to investigate the place during the night while, the other, while they go elsewhere and just do whatever. So it's kind of like, you know, investigating the place at night, you know. But you're only trying to investigate to see if there's... See what is going on exactly there. If you guys understand what I'm trying to say. And the mechanics are different. The door mechanics do come back from Five Nights at Freddy's 1. So if the animatronics do get closer, you can always close the doors if absolutely necessary. And the closet that is in the room, it acts like a pirate's cove for Foxy. Now we don't know exactly where uh, Freddy is going to be coming from, but he might come from the from either the east or the west hall. Chances are he might go, he might approach from the west hall like Chica, and Bonnie just approaches from the east. No, no, sorry, the west. Yes. But yes, the thing that I'm really looking forward to is the game itself. And as for the update and extra content, who knows what Scott's gonna have in store for us, you know? Maybe he'll have some some new mods for us. Like, maybe he'll even have, like, some character models from the past three installments, maybe. Who knows? Now, some of you guys are wondering, am I going to be playing Five Nights at Freddy's? For sure, I will totally be playing the game for you guys, as I will promise you that. Uh, however, I'm not exactly sure. Um, I'll see what I can do, okay? I, I do know that you can use QuickTime to film the game footage, and I do have this camera here that I am using now, so I'll see what I can do, and I will keep you guys updated. And what about the purple guy, you know? Maybe he might make a return or not. According to some of the stuff that is in the bedroom that you are in when playing the game, you notice that some of the things are purple. Um, according to 8-Bit Gaming, chances are you might actually be playing as the purple guy's son, you know? But yes, I'm really looking forward to playing the game. Um, I'm gonna see if I can if I can film the video for you guys the day it comes out. And we'll see what else, we'll just see what I can bring in the store for you guys. And by the way, later this weekend, later this week, I will be posting another video. This is going to be a video that regards me talking about more about who I am. So it's kind of like how, it's kind of like the first video that I put up, but it was just regarding like why I started YouTube and whatnot, you know? So I'll let you guys know when that video is going to be put up. In the meantime, you guys can look forward to me like, to me playing Five Nights at Freddy's 4. And there's nothing really else to this video at the moment, so I think I'm going to end it here. Uh, I will keep you all updated. This week also, I will be will be ordering a, um, a headset for gaming. So hopefully before Five Nights at Freddy's 4 comes out, I will have a headset pre-ordered and delivered to my place before the game comes out. Uh, if you guys noticed, I just have the light on. I just had to turn it on because it was getting a little dark outside. So, uh, but anyways, yes, before Five Nights at Freddy's 4 comes out, I will have it ordered and ready. And I will make sure that I have the Five Nights at Freddy's 4 playthroughs up for you guys. But yes, that's pretty much it for this episode. Uh, if you liked it, rate and comment. And if you're new to the channel, then subscribe today. And follow my page on Twitter. And like my Facebook page on Facebook, of course. But yes, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, and I will talk to you guys later. This is my Chronicle here. And I will talk to you all, guys, in the next video. Take care, everyone.